The GSF is the most powerful sports sedan that Lexus has ever produced, and it combines refinement with a naturally aspirated V8 for real luxury performance. While it's not the most obvious of V8 contenders, the Lexus is worth serious consideration against entrance from Mercedes-Benz, Audi and BMW, as well as comparisons with the outgoing Aussie rear drive favourites. Behind the wheel, it is both calm and storm. The cabin is quiet, but because the noise isolation is so successful, you can feel a little disconnected from the engine note, particularly in normal mode, yet you're more than aware of the beast under the bonnet as soon as you apply the throttle. Switch to Sports or Sports Plus mode and the exhaust note becomes more noticeable, but it's still not as raucous as other big V8s. The GSF is definitely skewed towards refinement. Like most cars with a bit of muscle, the GSF loves the open road. It offers outright speed on the straights, but is also composed in cornering. Dynamically, the Lexus is enjoyable to drive and you can push it hard into corners while the steering is nice and responsive. It's enough that you can engage well with the car without feeling like you're battling to keep its heavy frame under control. And while the Lexus is on the larger side, the Brembo brakes do well to slow its considerable mass, delivering maximum confidence for enthusiastic driving. The 8-speed auto seems to have too many cogs for our low-speed roads. In sport mode, it has a tendency to hold on to fifth gear, so you're constantly shifting up yourself to reduce the strain on the engine. Pleasantly, the chassis is taut, but it's not too stiff, and the sport suspension is not as harsh as, say, the Mercedes-AMG C63S, making the GSF a much easier car to live with day to day. That said, the GSF is a large car, and it seems well suited to taller, wider, and, and bigger drivers than myself. The sports seats are supported, but there's no adjustable side bolsters, which means for smaller drivers, there's not as much support. While the sound through the Mark Levinson system is impressive, the user interface is not. It's hard to navigate through the screens using the fiddly and oversensitive joystick, so it's really hard for the driver to select what they want first time. The door also appears to open a long way, and it's a big reach to the handle to close it. With the seat pulled forward, there's very little vision over the right shoulder. The B pillar is massive and it does create a significant blind spot. The Lexus GSF is a conundrum. It's quite a comfortable cruiser and its price does make it attractive. But with better performance vehicles available, its value may not be enough to see it threaten sales of the established Euro players.